show y'all what I got from the Will of the Good, y'all. If you gotta shop at Goodwill, don't be ashamed. <laughs> a man had his hand in the box and chopped his finger off with a knife, and it still went uh, off. He chopped his finger off? Uh-huh, and it was not off. Okay. With telling you guys how my day is going to go when I first come on, my days never go how I say they're going to go because I'm that sporadic of a person. So I'll come on here and I'll tell y'all I'm doing one thing and this and this and that and I won't do none of that and do everything else. So I need to figure out how I'm going to come at y'all and let y'all know what's going on because... <sighs> But anyways, ain't nothing wrong with shopping at secondhand stores, y'all. Don't be ashamed. They be having nice stuff. They have a lot of gems. You just got to search. In the midst of Le Stregel, we going to hold our head up high. Okay, I got this small Nike sweater or a hoodie for $5. I got this cute little Nautica bubble coat, perfect for PJ, for $4.49, if y'all can see that, and I'm just trying this jean jacket on, she's trying it on, if it, okay, take it off, I got this, it's an old navy jean jacket for $4.00. And I got that mannequin head that I showed you guys because she been wanting a doll to where she could play with their hair. So I got her that. And that was $28. Yeah, when you shop at consignment stores, make sure y'all wash y'all stuff. Even hell, when you get it out of retail stores, still wash your stuff because the stuff be sitting in warehouses and you never know where it goes. Now, I need to get better with getting it, um, washing my stuff when I get it from retail stores, but most definitely. You want to make sure that your stuff is clean from consignment stores. Because sometimes they don't wash the stuff. They'll just put it right back, right out on the floor the way they receive it. So, we got to go get ready so we could go to a magic show. Because she came home with some free tickets. And y'all know I like free. We love free round here. Oh, see. We don't have time for that. Take your picture and let's go. Okay, and what time are we waiting on this? You want to go on to the next show? Okay. Right. And you want? No, you're not waiting on the next call. You're going to take time to drive. Then I broke my pumpkin um, stem. Ooh. Ooh. Ella, whoa. Eat some. Mom, I'm <laughs> eat some. Off right here. All right. Don't worry, mom. It's okay. Rain dolls like that. You don't have to be sad because all pumpkins look okay. Oh. Uh oh. Sorry, PJ. Y'all look at the mess. The mess. So. I finished carving this pumpkin. This one I freehanded. It's a little fire flame pumpkin. And then this one, she said she wanted a cat. I attempted the cat back here and I messed it up. So I just turned the pumpkin around and then I ended up freehanding this one. Because them little paper things, the little stencils, they don't be hitting on nothing. And I just used the 
dry erase marker. And now I'm rubbing the dry erase marker off. And we'll show y'all what it looked like in the dark. Get the pumpkin looking all shiny and clean. Here are all the black marks. Yeah, I did that without no stencil. I just drew it on the pump. Skills. Skills. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when I turn the light off. What a beautiful sight. It's you. It's me. Your eyes delight. Baby, don't be scared because I don't bite. But miss that like button. And bitch, I might. IJK. IJK. We going to be okay. Stick around. I'm posting content on her every day. Bye.